Hey what is up guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Gran Turismo 7. So today's video is going to be a bit of a friendly reminder that your time is almost up to enter one of Gran Turismo 7's easiest online time trials. I'd personally say anyone with even the slightest bit of confidence in their driving could quite easily go and get the gold medal for this. It'll mean a very easy 2 million credits coming your way within the next day or so. So I'm here today to just give you a few hints and tips and tricks to quite easily go and get your gold. Now you can find this in the online uh, sport mode section. So you're going to go over to the lap time challenge and you're going to essentially be booted into this menu. This will essentially tell you everything you need to know. Kind of what your gold medal target is, what your silver is and what your bronze is. As you can see it takes place at Sardinia Road Track C in the group 4 category. Now the last one we did have was the NSX one which I believe featured tuning um, I completely forgot to cover that one it was absolutely awesome at the Nordschleife layer out of the Nürburgring but we've gone more back to basics with essentially an under one minute lap time here so it's a very very quick and I'd probably say it's probably really really easy in all honesty if you're in this part of the menu you can also see really what the meta car is so this is kind of tip number one go and see what the fastest car is and as you can see it's a wrx group 4 i feel like everybody is using this car for this event and there's probably a good reason for that it's four wheel drive so time for some general tips and tricks as well as a few pointers so if you've ever took part in the sardinia 800 grind which i'm sure most of you have in all honesty you're going to pretty much know the first part of this track off by heart where it gets a little bit confusing is when it goes left and essentially continues to go left instead of you know turning right uh, before you go down a very fast downhill section up to probably the most awkward part which is the final corner i find that's mainly where i'm losing a lot of time in all honesty it's just a bit of an awkward corner the fact that it's uphill and you essentially need to go really really quickly at it before it kind of hairpins around on you and and takes you back down the straight that we all know so general tips and tricks in terms of what to do and quite an easy way to get gold don't use anything other than the meta car whilst you might think you're very very quick there's probably a very very good reason that everybody's using the same car which like i said is the wrx group 4 it's a four-wheel drive car you'll find that short shift in it is probably the best way to go if you're in the lower gears just go up a gear trust me that will probably give you extra speed through the corners and it might be a little bit strange to get used to but i do recommend doing it overall i didn't even get the best lap time i think my fastest lap i was set about about a week ago and i think it took me around about five to ten minutes to achieve you know and it's been pretty much good for gold for this whole time i'm also in kind of just over the top one percent i believe or whatever it is um that it kind of goes off and i'm pretty comfortable that it's going to give me a gold and like i said i don't really feel the need to go back and improve on that one now one pointer to note about the overall time and why I'd say it's much easier to get gold is when people see it's a short time trial, a lot of people are kind of jump in, do a lap and then completely forget about it. This kind of gives you an open opportunity last off to essentially dive in and get a decent lap time in and get yourself some very easy money. There is a few people that will just run it constantly but a lot of people will just kind of do it once and completely forget or not realise that the you know time changes over, you know, over, over a period of time. Time. so i do recommend getting in there last minute and kind of doing your best laps there and then um kind of the shortest duration till it finishes in terms of your assists and stuff in all honesty i'd recommend this for all cars but this car especially turn your assists off the only thing i really leave on is abs on default i find this is because it makes me a lot more comfortable when driving in all honesty um, I believe that this car overall is one of the easier cars to drive once you kind of get used to it It's just such a solid performing car Obviously, you've got the, the benefit of four-wheel drive um, In comparison to say some of the rear-wheel drive group fours or some of the front-wheel drive group fours You're just going to have constant grip wherever you go There's no real need to run assist You never really get that feeling in this car that it's going to spin out some other general tips and tricks I can give you is when you're in the time trial, you can go and see the target time. This is quite helpful if you're maybe kind of worrying whereabouts you're ranked, if you're in the gold bracket, silver or bronze. 
Also from here, if you go over to the ranking board, you can essentially load up a ghost. What this does is put the your selector ghost in with you on track, and then you can kind of just follow it around, see where the breaking zones are at, and see where the racing lines are at. I'd recommend getting one of the fast guys, but someone that's close enough to where the ghost won't just kind of go away from you. Also, if you're kind of in the front menu, so when you're kind of at this point in the sport mode bit, you can also essentially, you know, boot up the event and uh, load a replay. This will kind of show you what the faster guys are doing. So if I kind of load up um, Pobrick's uh, replay from here, we can kind of see what he's doing at the more tricky parts of the uh, track. This way you can kind of learn the best route to get through corners, the best racing lines, and the best gear to realistically be in. So as you can see here, he's going through third gear at the uh, first corner, and then the, this really kind of quite quick but awkward corner you can kind of see how he hits it and how he kind of get takes advantage of the track limits to get the fastest possible route through you can also see at the last corner where it really kind of shakes your car about exactly what gear is in and kind of how he's hitting it so with the more general tips and tricks out of the way let's go ahead and look at my fastest lap and see you know how i did um, like I said, this was pretty much done within around about 5 and 10 minutes. It was done around about a week ago, so there's probably a much better ways through the corners. But essentially, when you go to turn 1, you're looking for the midpoint of the 100 to 50. I recommend short shifting to 2nd and back up to 3rd. For some reason, it just gave me a lot more grip, as well as allowing the car to turn in a lot better. Through there, you're full throttle. Now, you're coming up to one of the most awkward corners on the track. I kind of do it just after the 50 go down to fourth and it's all kind of like lifting and getting back on the throttle it's very very difficult and that's probably where i've struggled kind of mostly i find that i'm losing a lot of speed there sometimes i'm very quick sometimes i'm very slow now at the edge of this left hand curve you essentially want to begin to turn in do a nice little cut and begin to get down the gears i recommend again short shifting for the last corner before getting on the power and short shifting back up to third then it's essentially just a run to the finish, really. Just go for it. It's a very short lap. In all honesty, if you make a mistake, just keep going round and get that consistency up there. I feel like most people will quite easily get a gold and quite easily get that 2 million credits. So that's going to be it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Turn the notifications on so you don't miss an upload from me. I have my Discord, my Twitter, and all my sponsors and stuff like that, as well as my donation links in the description down below. I'll see you all later. Have a wonderful day. And as always, peace.